Hello, and welcome back to Zealand Chronicles 2. Let's start off by accepting this quest. Something bothering, friend. You look a lot... awfully familiar. Oh, that's it. Now I remember. Is that right? Town Square in Torgoth? The driver recruitment? I'm Jack. You were there when I got recruited. Nope. Oh, really? Well, I remember you. Everything about the moment I resonated with that core crystal is etched into my memory. Including the faces of everybody who was watching. Oh, right. After that, they brought me here after to Alba Cavendish for basic training. Now I finally made it. I'm an official driver of the Imperial Army. Amazing. My position in the army lets me send back money to my brothers and sisters. Or sister. Which is nice. I'm glad they're getting supported now, but I can't help but feeling really bad for leaving my mom and my dad. And now me. Our parents were really fans of the Ardanian army. I wonder if they'd be disappointed if they saw me right now. Really? Oh well. No use worrying about over-spilled milk. Anyways, I got other problems. I want to save some Ardanian sweets and toys back to my family. I have to get a real kick out of them. As a new recruit, I don't get much time off. Getting back to Torgov isn't really on the cards. I already bought the sweets, but at this rate, they'll go off before I can get give them to my brothers and sister. We'll help you out. Should be too much, too much trouble. You'll help me out? Thank you so much. I'll run and fetch the stuff right away. Oof, it's a little heavy. I guess I went a bit overboard. Thank you for agreeing to this. Their names are Neil, Zelen, and Morka. We meet again. Received. I mean, that's nice and all. Uh, really quick. I upgraded my character's affinity, specifically Mithra. We're literally about to be... Max. I did it on purpose, like I, I left it before I did it. I don't know, I was going to do some stupid segue, I said fuck it. I'll explain it now. Either way, the easiest way to fucking upgrade this character is to feed her food. I am not joking. There's an NPC right over here. This person. You feed her crab sticks and that's it. That is the whole thing. I will literally demonstrate it just because I can. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. It's honestly funny. You feed it. Mm, she says, mm. And we'll check her affinity. Actually, I might need to do one more. Yeah, hold on. So the, the objective here is you spam this shit. And I'm not joking when I say mm. I spam the A button like crazy. You spam the fuck out of it. And then when you check, she'll be maxed out. It's that easy. I feel a change. It's so yeah, stupid. This should work. And like that, we have her maxed. I don't know why they left you with like Affinity 1 Mithra. I guess they wanted you to bond with her before. Which is not good because you're doing shit damage compared to Pyra. Like if you saw Pyra's stats or whatever, she had a bunch of crit damage. So Mithra is like the opposite of that. She does a bunch of crit rate. So you just put crit damage on Rex. That should, like, compensate. And this is a healing thing I put on him. Other than that, uh... There is one area I used to farm. It's not upper, it's lower. This spot over here, the Hot Pipe District, there's a bunch of lizard people there. If you keep repeatedly killing them, they drop, uh... the wood core chip, which is decent. And I put that on Mithra. And a bunch of other ones. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Justice up. Nice. Anyways, objectives. We have a bunch of quests we could turn in, actually. We'll start with this one, I guess. Haven family, that's an Argentum. Goldmouth. Just start over here. Oh yeah, we're also kind of 
over leveled. Now just go. I mean, there might be like some other side quests after this one. Moving cargo. How long could they keep us up? Right. Honestly, I'm shocked how much I leveled. It's actually kind of fucking weird. I'm like level 36 right now, all my characters. Like, all I did was explore for like maybe like a couple hours. And then I farmed gold. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I upgraded Shiba completely uh, uh, her affinity all the way up. There's a quest here. It's a merc quest. Anyways, let's turn this shit in. Thank you, Muchly. Fala will start cooking right away. Ta-da! It's spicy Stralu. Wow, pretty impressive. But Salala had a fever, or when he went to bed, or when he had to have girl trouble. His mama pawn always make this for him. It have, it have a lot of special memories attached. Wow, pretty impressive. Actually, Falala have one more favor to ask the traveling friends. Falala has made flyers to s spread the word of cooking. Please take up the flyers and Torgop and Fanza Maima. Really, thank you. We'll make lots of food for sudden influx of customers. There is more! There's something down there. Alright. Ooh, really? Torgoth? I mean... I guess I'll just edit when I get over there. Yeah. Is there photos still there? Oh my god, they changed it. That's funny. I, I never noticed that. That is so weird. Fonza Maima. I want to turn in the quest first. And then I'll do maybe a summoning session. I might need to Google what some certain core crystals do though. Or not core crystals. But yeah, yeah, core crystals. Alright. I'm gonna open Google Chrome in the background. Because I know I'll need this for later. Alright. Go back to Argentum. Rest the spell. Let's get going. I'm like trying to multitask. Uh, let me check actually right now. Uh, what's it called? There's one I want to give it. Where is it? I think it's a bullion. This gives us cross set. So a bullion. Yes, we're giving this to Nia. I'm gonna do it right now before I forget. I'm fucking stupid. I, I know I 100% will forget. It's like shit, dude. Supposedly, she's a fire healer. 
trust sets the name. Guys, I won't let you down. This is so exciting. She's cute. But is she a robot? I don't think he's a robot. Alright. She's a healer. So I wanted to give Nia a pyro, or like I said pyro, fucking Genshin Impact. Fringe. A fire character. For like, you know, special combos or whatever. Get rid of this nasty ass blade. There we go. And then Rex Beastly. This should be an Earth person thing. How do you call those things? Core chip. Not core chip, core crystal. Either way, it matches with Rex, so that's why I'm using it. Look at this ugly bastard. He's one scary looking dude. Yep, so he's an attacker and he's earth element. Super strength, earth mastery, and focus. Overall, he's pretty good. Put this over here. It sounds fun. I need to upgrade his shit though. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, Divine Core Crystal? I'm not too sure. This is a light element blade. I don't know if I should use that. I'm gonna spam rare things and see what the fuck happens. Cause I need more extra blades. It's becoming a problem. If it's trash, I might just like edit out the shitty ones. Oh. What the fuck is this? Why did I get the lolly character? She's mad at me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Oof. I don't know how things will turn out, but I'll do my best. You know, out of every character to get, this is the one I did not want. Oof. And she's a tank class. I don't have this element, so I guess it's pretty good, actually. I can't get mad at that. Let's just do a couple more. <laughs> uh, pain. Not ex... Oh, I have Justice maxed out. You know what that means, actually? I might get Cosmos if I just spam this shit. The more you know. I mean, the odds of that are so fucking low. If I were to get this, I would actually be like... Huh? What is this? What the fuck? I mean... Call me Gorg. It is a great honor to have met you. Alright. I pledge the whole of my power... to you. That's the first water character I've gotten. On this character. He has fortitude. Uh, but he's a what is he? Okay, he's an attacker. Never mind. He's, he might be useful. Alright. Let's do more. Just keep going. You know, what are the odds of getting 
rare characters. Because that's kind of weird. I, I felt like it was way too fast. Cosmos? Healer, two stars, garbage. Oops, I'll use that. Come on, dude. I need dark element and I... I don't know what else I need. Is that Cosmos? No fucking way. People go crazy trying to get this character. And I get it in less than like 10. What? Cosmos. The Xenoblade community is going to fucking massacre me. Multiple operation systems. Holy shit. What the fuck? I love this character, by the way. All systems I need to do a playthrough of this game or the series. I was playing the first one on emulator and on the PS2 emulator, it was not very good. Like, I couldn't save on the save portal things, or I don't know what you call those things. I don't know, the game would just like freeze if you try to save on the PS2 emulator. Oh, she's light element? I thought she was dark. There's Cosmos, the most fucking sought after character in the game. What? What does she have, by the way? She has lockpicking. I love that. Light mastery. Reduces aggro buildup. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not anything special. Recharge blues. That's pretty good. Arts plus. Also pretty good. Crit rate. Pretty good. Right. We got Cosmos this fucking early in the fucking game. What? Ready for departure, master. Dude. I'm telling you, the Xenoblade fandom is gonna fucking slaughter me. I get it this early. I I should probably do some on Nia. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Get the fucking rarest fucking blade in the game. With like 10 pulls. Okay. Okay, that's a trash. Piece of garbage. Two star? Yeah, it's trash. Dude, I think about Cosmos. When I was playing the their, the game in, that she's in, she's a robot, and she's kind of bloodthirsty at the start of the game. I really want to play that game. The only problem is that the PS2 emulator is garbanzo with that game for some reason. Unless they patched it, you cannot save. All you save states, which is really annoying. Tank and ice. Okay, garbage. Just keep using these. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm stoked. I did not expect to get Cosmos this fucking early. What the hell? Okay, what is this? What the heck is that? Huh? I'm gonna get a lot of rare blades. That thing's a furry though. I don't like furries. We can make a service to you. We'll do our best. 
This thing scares me. And it's Earth Element, which is pretty good. I don't have Earth Element on this. Yeah. I don't think I need Earth Element right now. I guess I could replace Shiba. I mean, Shiba's not very good. But Shiba's maxed out right now, so technically she is very useful early on. So I will not set her. Let's do a couple more on Nia. <laughs> I, I don't know what the rate up or how this is supposed to work, but if I get Cosmos that fucking early, uh, something's off. I think I'll do like three more. I think I'll do three more, yeah. Three more sounds... Any more and I'm like... This is gonna be the whole video. At that rate. Another... The Shadow Girl? It's the one that Chuck Conroy got on his first try, I think. Whoa. That's creepy. This is like the creepy version of Oriana from League of Legends. Attack type. Honestly, I've gotten the blaze that I wanted the most this fucking early, which is fucking weird. Okay. I mean, this is healer. I might. I I guess. I do need to level them. Yo, know I will. Together at last. <laughs> Weird Yandere robot thing. I know, I'm into it. <laughs> Holy crap, do I do more? I don't think I should. What the fuck was that? I don't have. Wait, I do. I don't have ox cores for her, which is slightly a it's a slight problem. I have a bunch of these. I mean that will work for now. Wait, is glass better? Oh. It is. Alright, and the healer, which doesn't really benefit much from this. I think flower is actually better for her. It gives you block rate as well. There's somebody I'm forgetting. But I think I got a room. He's not on my party anymore. The earth dude. Rock. I mean rock is kind of like stuck. I need to upgrade Merc rank. Honestly, I don't even use Rock. Like, very rarely do I ever use him. It's actually kind of sad. Joe March, Azamami. I mean, technically, I could actually replace Door March. I don't think I will for it, because I need to upgrade his affinity. And we're pretty damn close, or not as close, but. Get the point. Right. Do you have any? You don't. Thank God. What do you do? Lower HP. Uh, counter attacks. Okay. Honestly, I shouldn't worry about that. Just level them. Credit. 
Okay, I'm intrigued. I saw crit damage. Alright. Fuck. You have three slots? I don't know what to give her then. Oh shit. I don't have anything good. And she's ether. Or yeah, ether cannon. Hmm. I don't know what's good here. Oh wait, I haven't built these yet. Fuck, I'm just still Sheba's. Sorry, Sheba. Light reflect my dot. Fuck it. Specials 2 damage. Might be good. I don't know. Ether range. I don't know if that's good. I could just still Sheba shit. She has the same thing. Whatever. Good enough. As for you, I don't know what to give you. Why do I hear weird noise? That's so weird. She's ether cannon as well. Why not? Damage heal, why not? And this is a healer. I run out of things to give you. So I'll just give you whatever. Damn. Yep, whatever. That's good enough. <laughs> oh shit, dude. We have the best character. Well, not I don't know if this is the best character, but this is the most sought out character in this game. Fucking Cosmos. I really need to be play that game series. I don't even know what it's called. Xenogears? Xeno or something. All I know is I want to play that game. Though the PS2 graphics have not aged well. That's like really apparent now it is. Flyers worked wonders. Customers coming from far and wide. Her cooking skills have improved. That dude finder. Just one problem. It's not reaching him. I want Sonny Pond to come home. To see his happy face again. I'd like to help if that's okay. Thank you. Maybe friends heard of rumor of Solala on travels. Is that so? Maybe friends should listen out for more rumors. Palala will also stop by in an informant to see if there are any news. Merc mission. No. I refuse. There is a bunch of quests I wanted to turn in. Apparently this has more. How the fuck is this quest this long? I do not understand. I don't, haven't done that one yet. There is one... Oh, right. This is the one I accepted earlier. So we could turn this one in now. That's in Gormot. Oops. That was a slog. Let us go. Let's show him a thing or three. Enemy force analyzed. Commencing eradication. I'm gonna have to use her more. I just wanted to see her skills, what they look like. Right, this way. 
I mean, obviously our damage is going to be kind of shit at the start. Which is understandable. Here you go. Oh, that was a treat. That's exactly what I wanted. Would you deliver the rice ball to best for me? Ta. Huh. I'm sure she'll be pleased with it. And before something bad happens, where is she? Can't open that door. Ah, that brings back memories. I used to eat these all the time. You don't see these very often these days. How did you know I like these rice balls? So here's the thing. Ah, Samaban told you. I see what's going on here. He asked you to buy him some chocolate, didn't he? She knows. I knew it. She thought he could fool me. Fool me. Did he? Honestly, I don't know what to do with that man anymore. I'll have to give him a proper telling off. Uh-oh. You done fucked up. We gave her the fruity rice ball. She said she's gonna give you a big telling off later. I still think you made her day though. Heck, they're still getting past her, is there? I'll have to brace myself then, won't I? Ha ha ha. Erg. Cough cough. Hack. Hey, are you okay, mister? Cough cough. Splutter. Miko call Bess. Wait, cough cough. I'll be fine. There's no use worrying the loss. I'd appreciate if you could keep this quiet from her. Yeah, but... I'm fine. Don't you worry. I'm not going to kneel over and kick the bucket just yet. That reminds me, mind if I bother you with this one more little errand? Want us to get medicine? Medicine? No. Let's see, it was about 30 years ago now. Back then, I was still serving. Me and Bess got our hands on this pair of golden bracers. Whoa. Yeah, rare find, isn't it? We were never particularly pressed for money back in those days, so we decided to hide them. I want you to bring them back to me. Okay, can do. Where did you put them? In the Thief of Forgetfulness in Morardane. Thing is, according to Bess... According to Bess? Ah, perfect timing. I was, I was asking Rex here if he wouldn't mind fetching those old bracers he buried back in the day. In the Thief of Forgetfulness, wasn't it? No, no. I think you gotta mix it up. It was the ruins of Fountain Park and the Kingdom of Araya, as I recall. Oh, er, was it? I don't remember burying them there. No, I'm positive. It was definitely Araya. Hmm. Oh, I don't know anymore. Check out both of those places. It'll turn up eventually. Wow, talk about careless. Well, if you can't remember, I guess we'll just... Ha There's no way around it. We'll just have to check both of those places out. Really? Mordan. Right. Let me check if I have more quests I could turn in. I don't think I can though. Was it? Right. It was this one and then it was this one. Back to Mordan, I guess. Let's rest the spell. Locating position. Did I ever change the pouch item? Holy fuck, I totally forgot, didn't I? Uh Narcy Pear Jelly. I love this! How did you know? Cosmos does not care about that. Good to know, I guess. Honestly, I'm shocked that I even got her. Like, bro, we're like in chapter 4-ish. Oh, isn't it hard to hard over here? Let's do this. If we can. My lady, over there, the capital's standing army. I see him. Let's keep our distance, yeah? Best let sleeping goggles lie. Good call. Be not alone. 
The troops that captured us were Ardanian military, yes. But from the Gormati Regiment. Those aren't the same? Hmm, quite different, in fact. One can learn many things while in a Titan battleship's brief. And I made good use of the opportunity. Damn, they chucked me into solitary, so I don't know anything. It does seem they have separate procedures for planes and drivers. In any case, once I abandoned thoughts of staging a breakout, I did make sure to keep my ears open for intelligence. Did you hear anything else? Mm, let me think. The soldiers over there are, as I said previously, from the capital's garrison. But those other ones actually belong to the 1st Imperial Guard, 2nd Battalion. Okay. Ah, what's the difference? Beyond the bridge is Hard Hay Palace, the Imperial residence. Therefore... Oh, I've got it. The palace guards belong to a different unit. Of course. Indeed. Then, above the Imperial Guard rank and file, you have the Karik Special Guard Unit. And higher yet, the Special Inquisitor, the Flamebringer herself. Wow. Ah, me, man. I could never deal with all this hierarchy crap. Ever heard the expression, know thy enemy? Nia. I was torn or organized. Torn, huh? It was all centered around Jen. Not exactly structured, though. But we all had our assignments. What was yours, Nia? I was... Nap time specialist. Shit it. I was a uh, general support. I haven't been there long, so I mostly just helped out with whatever. Ha! Huh. Not much of a change, then. It is as you say. Really? Stop making it sound like I'm some useless layabout. I mean, I can make brisket dumplings and stuff, so... Well then, maybe we could cook something together. Mm-hmm. All right, you're on. My lady, are you sure that's... Uh... Both of you will sing a different song when I stuff your faces in my food. You had best steal yourself, Master Rex. Is it that bad? My lady's cooking is not what anyone would call conventionally tasty. What do you mean, conventionally tasty? Uh, oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have riled her up. Joe March's wisdom. Alright. Honestly, these NPCs never say any valuable info. Mechanical blades, the city's oppressive, the atmosphere, missing the fresh air of the workshop or workspace. Alright, where the fuck is this quest? Oh, we're delivering it. Oh. Those guys are friendly, right? be awkward if you walk in here you just get fucking stabbed or whatever here friend take oh these are white skill at antennae are they not exactly three no less excellent maybe you saw the flyer yep i see well, that's a big help i'm engaged in the research of ardanian fauna you see and the works of relevant location there's too much text here <laughs> unfortunately the humble dog bang has low priority. However, you have the white skill antenna from Nog Vang, so then it's enough for a basic report. If any of the information contained in my report is disseminated throughout the military, then no doubt it'll make the job of, of taking on those wretched Nog Vangs quite a bit easier. Oh, I see. Well, I should get back to work on my report. And here's your reward. Ecological survey completed. Alright. A Fetty Award. 
They both leveled from that. All three of them, what? Huh? What the fuck? Well, that was fast. System functions expanded. 162 from that. Holy shit, that was fast. All right. My fondness for you is what keeps me going. This robot is kind of spooky. I haven't even begun to stretch my limits. All right. I don't even know what the fuck to say. <laughs> Speechless. All right, let's change quests. I, I thought I was going to trade this one in, and there was more fetch quests to it. How about this one? This is also a fetch quest. Damn. Alright, I'm going to do main story right now. Start with Bion Connectors. Right. It's telling me to go down somewhere. Inspection. Information. Gossip. The baths. Apparently there's an artificial blade behind it with the ruckus. Okay. Don't care. Information. Mardin. They talk about the maid girl. Okay, there's clearly something down there. Is that an elevator? Nothing about tax. There has to be an elevator. I think it's around there. I'm gonna like make sure there's an elevator there. Wait, is that treasure? You're all mine. All right. Man, this is some weird shit. Getting Cosmos that early, I I'm honestly still in shock. How the fuck does that happen? Okay, I was right. There is elevators. She looks kind of dorky in this game. I'm not sure why. The time is now 7 p.m. What the fuck? She sounds. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. She's a robot. I was about to say she sounds like a robot, but she is a robot. It's like, oh, I'm stupid. There's a bunch of guards there. I don't think I've ever been this way. Weird. Good teacher. Talked about Morag, Bridget. Skills, training. Are we going on the ship? There's a salvaging point here. Where? I can't open that door, so... Where is it telling me to go? This way? 
the quest tracker in this game is kind of kind of sketchy. Huh? You're Perry Perry, right? Ah, Rex. Such coincidence to meet meet here. You haven't brought any cargo from Garma, have you? Have so. Even though you were in Argentum? Came from Argentum to Gorma, then Gorma to Amorardane. Oh, I see. I guess that makes sense. Then Tora, I have a question. Did Peri Peri transport a large quantity of Bion connectors lately? Meh meh meh. Type of content of shipment is a violation of trade confidentiality. Come on, we really need to know this. Uh, if it is a request from Rex, I Peri Peri cannot refuse. Peri Peri carried Bion connectors and yellow barrels. How many? At least 10 Peri Peri think. That's gotta be it. Peri Peri know where shipment for? Sadly, not having that information. Job was only to bring cargo to port. But cargo unloaded here always take it off to towards the city. Maybe friends find cargo at inspection points near elevator. Only if recipient not pick up yet, of course. Alright, we'll have a look at it. it. Thanks, Perry Perry. So it's somewhere in the city then. I might just teleport there. That'd be way too long to walk there. Wait. It's upper level, right? It's not upper level? I have to walk there, don't I? Well. I wanna try Cosmos out in battle. So I have no idea what the fuck she does. Wait, have I been here? I think I have actually. I think I'm dumb. I have been here. Okay, time to Let's see what she does. Go get him, Rex. Damn, it's kind of scuffed. Will you help puppy next time? No worries. I bet I can learn something to help myself. I mean, her damage is kind of weak. Like you'll see with Mithra, she fucking destroys everything. Also, this outfit is because of the ox core she's wearing. And it is the censored outfit, by the way. From Smash. I don't know why they censored her outfit. I do not understand why. Wait, it's down? Oh. Yellow barrels. Yellow barrels. Yellow barrels. I can't see any. One there's up over there the first time we came here. Come to think of it, I do recall something of the nature. According to memory of Poppy, yellow barrels, barrels were definitely there. So that means someone must have picked them up already. I can only assume as much. Well that leaves us without any leads. Aw oh, man. Tora are not about to give up so easily. So I remember there's a junk shop near Alba Cavendish. Why not ask for info there? Another very good suggestion from Master Pod. A junk shop, huh? Well, they might know a thing or two about parts for these artificial blades. Then what are we waiting for? Okay. Lila's location updated. A simple teleport should help, right? Oops. Meme, off we go. What will we find? All right. Hey, can we ask you about something? 
Sorry, I don't do small talk with people who aren't paying customers. Maybe you bought something. I'd be more willing to chat. Fucker. So what were you wanting to ask? Tara wants to know if somebody bought certain parts in large quantity or took them to somebody. When you say certain parts... Well, there's a quite a many variant or variety. Tora lists them one after another, so if any rings fell, please say. Really? We're doing this again? Tetra Circle. Snake Joint. Black Ash. Hold it. I have some info on the last one. Meme? Over already? Master Pong looked disappointed. Alright. Please give us the details. This old guy said he had a regular customer purchasing Black Ash. Pretty large scale stuff. From the sound of it, he was bragging about how to be rolling in cash for a while. Black Ash is a key mineral used in shielding agent in ether furnace. Sounds like we got our guy. Do you know where we can find this old guy? Hmm. Now this is this isn't that odd. I can't seem to recall. Maybe if you bought something, it might jog my memory. Why you little? Ah, thanks for your custom. And what do you know? I think I just remembered. You're looking for an old bloke by the name of Timmel. That sounds familiar. He's in the business of transporting black ash and other minerals mined in Moradain. Right now, you'll probably find him at the Turbine Tower, just across the Medoral Bridge. Be careful if we're going to meet him, though. Thanks. Oh, brother. Let's see, do I have a teleport near there? I probably do. I don't. It's literally right in front of there. <laughs> It's like, wow, I saved like three Let's seconds. Yep. There he is. Hmm. You want something? So I want to talk about Black Ash. Bla about Black Ash, let me guess. It's it's been blabbing, has he? That's correct. Honestly, that little punk. But hey, it's not like I'm gonna do anything like I'm doing anything wrong, so sure, I'll tell you. What do you want to know? Have you been selling large quantities of the black ash to someone? I don't know if I'd call it that large, just a few barrels at that time, every now and then. If using as shielding agent for ether furnace, maybe not need such large quantity all at once. Oh, I see. So, could you tell us where you're delivering these barrels to? Near the entrance of Old Industrial District. Just drop off the goods where I'm told to. So I haven't seen the buyer or anything. That's sketchy. You reckon? They're reliable with their money. And they pay a fair price. Can't say I ever thought anything seemed off. And after all, if you're gonna build something inside the city, why bother having it carried inside? Not to mention that meeting up in person would mean having to schedule a time that suits both people. I guess that's a fair point, but still. When's your next delivery? Ten's day's time. Seriously, we have to wait that long? Perhaps we should simply enjoy its extended hot spring vacation. Would that not be less than productive? Well, I only just made the last delivery. If you head back there quick, it might even still be there. Tell us these things first, you piece of shit. Come on, guys, it's a worth a try. Are these barrels easy to spot? Yeah, they should be pretty obvious. They're bright green after all. Let me know if you see anything or if there's anything else you need to want sorting out. I can't read. Come out, come out. I wonder if it's that weird place I've been already. Let's see. Oh, we've already been there. It's actually not that far. We're here. 
Green barrels, this must be it. Hey, aren't those the yellow barrels from before? Five connectors and black ash. My tears were constructing an artificial blades, no, without a doubt. The only question is, where are they going to be taken next? Are there any clues lying around? There's a note here written in Nopon. This Nopon writing, yes, but the handwriting is unbelievably scuffy. Tora not able to read. It's like baby scribbles. Neither of you can read it? Wow. That really must be bad. I suppose we simply have to decipher it somehow. That's one option, but would it not be easier to simply keep watch on the bearers themselves? You could you say that, but we have no idea when the recipient will pick him up. Yeah, what if it'll show up in like five days or something? It sounds like a perfect mission to leave to our mercenary allies. That would be an option too. Which shall we go for then? Cast light. Huh? Leave Napon to Poppy. Mm -hmm. Tor can read. Manage to read writing. As usual, deliver goods to a certain facility around chest area of Moradane Titan. That doesn't sound very specific. But at least we know the general area. Perhaps it's time we report back to Morag. Tora tell Morag how Tora was key to investigation success. We'll demand three years supply of tasty sausage. Don't get too carried away with yourself there. With much tasty sausage, Master Pond now needs to work for the rest of life. The rest of his life? With a three years supply? Anyway, if we head back to the palace, the guards should let us get in touch with Morag. Yes, that was what she said. Shall we, then? Lila's location completed. Alright then. Wait, there's a... F there's a heart to heart here and there's a fucking monster in front of me. No, we lost the upper hand. Okay. Alright. More affinity rewards? Nice. Okay, let's see this heart to heart. Wasteland and hard rocks. Not easy for walking. Should we take a rest around here? Good idea, yes. You need to toughen up a bit, Tora. Tora live whole life cooped up in house working on building Poppy. Not used to walking long distance. If only Tora could flitter flutter like Gramps. Well, you have those big ear wing things. Not on wings, not for flying. Could flap forever and not reach sky. If you're really having a hard time walking, you could ask Dromart to give you a ride. Oh, Rex Rex is genius! I think not. I have solemnly sworn to carry none other than my lady. Go on, it can't hurt. What? Are you sure about this, my lady? If you allow Tora to ride me now, soon he will want Poppy to join him. And there will be no space left for you. Well, when you put it like that... Sorry, Tora. Guess that's a no. Uh, much disappoint. Pyra, are you okay walking? Oh, yes. I'm fine. Though all the dust clouds do bother me a little. Oh, yeah, those are a pain. Gets in your eyes sometimes. Poppy also not like that. Small particles get in joints and cause nasty creaking when moving. Must ask Master Pond to clean out when get out of this place. Rex Rex, it seemed like more ordained tricky place for everyone. Rex Rex have any bright ideas for helping? Well, let's see. Would anyone like to borrow one of my salvager suits? I suppose that would help keep the sand out. I've got a spare you could borrow. You want to try it on? Actually, I guess Nia's the only one who it would really fit. Go on then, I'll give it a try. Wait, really? If it really is useful, we can buy a whole bunch of them sometime. My lady, that suits you surprisingly well. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so this is what it's like for Rex when he goes salvaging, huh? Keeps the sand out pretty well, right? Well, yeah, it does that. But I can't really see. 
peripheral vision's awful in this thing. It's hard to move about in, too. It might not be very practical for combat. Yeah, I don't think I could yep. fight like this. Looks like genius idea of Rex Rex, not so genius after all. Well, it was worth a try. I guess. Unforgiving terrain. A fit reward. Hell of the calm. Ardent Lancers reporting back. Nicely done. 